every day, everywhere we look, we are inundated with adverts telling us a wide variety of products. We are sold the idea that we're missing out on something if we don't buy what they are selling. We're told that we're not pretty enough, so we need makeup. We're not tall enough, so we need heels. Or we're not healthy enough, so we need to buy into the latest diet trend. And because of this, we are overspending, overbuying, overconsumption is at an all-time high, and it's so bad for the environment. So today's video is going to be all about recognising this and noticing where we're overspending, why we're overspending, and how we can change our relationship with consumerism. Now I'm not suggesting that we don't buy anything ever again, ever, that's obviously not practical and we do need to buy things, but it's all about recognising why we're buying something, what, what the reason is behind it, is it because we feel like we're not enough or because we need it, and when it does come to buying something we're making sure that we're buying something that has been sustainably sourced or locally produced or uses sustainable practices and or manufacturing practices and the ingredients or the materials used in the product are environmentally friendly and the best option for the environment. But ultimately, I think it comes down to just buying something that you know you definitely need, something that will last a long time and it's not going to break or need to be repaired or replaced. And just to reassess why we're buying something so that we can live as consciously on this planet as possible. Another thing to note which also causes overconsumption is to look out for hidden charges. So when you're buying one item which requires you to buy another one or buy something else along with it that has to go with it. So look out for things such as hidden charges. And the other thing is to try not to give in to any trends. I mean, the items that they're selling are going to last longer than the, the trend is anyway, so then you'll end up with something that you don't necessarily want or need after the phase is over. But I think if you are struggling with your spending habits then maybe try and give yourself a challenge such as like not buying anything for 30 days and then seeing if you still want to buy the thing at the end of the 30 days is over. That can really challenge you and stop you from buying so much of oh, things that you don't need because you're putting a limit on yourself and I think that might be a very helpful thing for you if you are struggling with just buying loads of stuff that you don't necessarily need. So I hope you found this helpful and that you can think about overconsumption and that where, how you're buying things and where you're buying things and where you're giving in to buying the products that you may not need and how we can just live more sustainably and more consciously with what we're buying and what we're doing and how we're living on this planet.